So for the molecular geometry for CHCl3, we're going to look at the Lewis structure and try to figure out what shape it might have. From the Lewis structure, we can see that we have four atoms attached to that central carbon. And those four atoms are going to spread out as far away from each other as they can in accordance with valence shell electron pair repulsion theory. But we can also use the AXN notation to make sure we have the correct molecular geometry for CHCl3. A, that's the carbon in the center. X, that's the number of atoms bonded to the carbon. We have three chlorines and one hydrogen, so we have four atoms bonded to that carbon. And N, those are the pairs of non-bonding electrons. Well, all of those electrons on the carbon are involved in chemical bonds, so we're not going to worry about N. So you could have memorized that AX4 is a tetrahedral molecular geometry. Or, if you're allowed, you can look it up on a table. So going down our table here, we see AX2, AX3, and AX4, which is tetrahedral and has bond angles of 109.5 degrees. If we look at the tetrahedral molecular geometry here for CHCl3 in three dimensions, we can see what it looks like. Here the chlorines are the green. In the center we have the carbon and the white is the hydrogen. So you can see we have all those chlorines on the bottom and then on the top we have the white which is the hydrogen. And they're all spread out as far away from each other as they can possibly be and still be attached to that central carbon. We can also look at the bond angles, which you remember are 109.5. So this angle right here is going to be 109.5 degrees, as is this angle up here, this angle over here, and then on the other side as well. This is Dr. B with the molecular geometry or shape for CHCl3, and thanks for watching.